Hey guys, let's say you're out hiking in the forest, maybe you're going fishing in one of your favorite spots and it's quite a distance away, and all of a sudden some storms start rolling in. You got a cloud burst on the way, and you're too far away from your vehicle to get back there safely, and let's say that you're still too far away from your favorite fishing spot, but you've got to hunker down in a heavy rainstorm to stay dry so you're not miserable the rest of the day while you're fishing or, or uh, you're not miserable on your way back to the car and you might be a long drive away from home. We're going to show you how to make an emergency quick bushcraft shelter using only a tarp, a length of rope, and a couple of sticks. Okay guys, so I found a secure location that's away from any uh, creeks or streams and I've got two trees, these are cherry trees, about 12 feet apart. This is where I'm going to make my emergency shelter and the rain's probably 20 minutes away. This is gonna take me about 10 minutes, so I've got just enough time to get it set up. You need a length of rope. You can use paracord, rope. I actually use um, some leftover clothesline we have. This stuff is underrated because it's waterproof, lasts years without breaking down. And then I just simply have a tarp that I'll keep in my backpack. I have multiple pockets. This is my old assault pack from the Army. So I can keep food and whatnot other places, but it's just a tarp. Nothing expensive. So this tarp and this length of clothesline and a couple of sticks are going to keep me dry. Okay, so I'm going to tie off one end of my cord here, and I use this style of knot. It's like the beginning or the bottom portion of a hangman's noose. This way, I've got some play if I want it, or I can cinch it up tight, and it's going to stay there pretty tight. And then... I come down to uh, the other tree and I'm gonna go over here so you can see better as I tie this I want to point something out here a couple of things um, honey make sure they're getting like a whole a view of this whole length here I'm not going to cinch this line up tight just yet I'm gonna have it hanging down loose because I'm not ready to secure it as tightly as I want and then another thing I'm gonna point out you see my bundled up rope here a lot of folks, especially if they're making a video, they'll cut that off so they have the perfect length of rope. I don't cut that off, and here's why. I like to use this cord for multiple purposes. Once I start cutting off lengths, and I explained this to my wife a couple years ago, and she thought I sounded crazy, but she's since caught on. Once I start cutting off lengths, I limit myself as far as what I'm able to use that for because I can. I could now, the next time I use this, I can only use it if I need 12 feet or less. But by keeping, I think this is like a 25 or 30 foot length, I can use this for other purposes. So now that I've got my cord set up and it's and it's it's still loose, I need it to be loose, I'm gonna start to prepare my tarp. And now there are multiple ways you can do this. It's more than one way to skin a cat, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. Get it spread out on the ground and I want to point out you've probably noticed I'm on a downward slope you might be thinking gosh why are you making that on a hill that's because when the rain comes there's going to be runoff I want that rain to run down the hill I don't want to be flat or in a sunken area to where the rain's going to stay on top of me because your tarp will flood okay now from this point I'm in the forest. Sticks are abundant. Um, honey, can you come closer to show them a close-up of this shot? I'm going to not use the first hole that comes in most tarps for my shelter because when it rains, the rain will get on me. I'm going to use the second hole so that when it rains, the rain will actually run off of the tarp, the tarp's cover, and onto the bottom of the tarp and down the hill. But I don't even need to tie my, tar my tarps off. What I do is I'll take this, and this is why I left the, the line loose. I just do that, stick it through the hole like this. Then I just take a stick to secure it like that. And now what this allows me to do is I can move this around. I can slide it up and down wherever I want to. See that? It'll slide down if I want it to go further this way or it'll slide up if I need it to go this way, just like that. So that's one end. I secure that in with a stick, and then, uh, I think just come right here. 
this is difficult folks to film this without us falling on top of each other so pardon the impromptu directing director's instructions but I'm going to get another stick and then we'll do the same thing on this side fold this down so that I get to the second hole which is here and then I do the same thing I loop my line and then I go through the second hole and then I use my stick to secure it and then I'm done okay now from here what I can do is adjust the placement slide it right up just like it's supposed to like I just showed you so I got this spread out I don't want too many crinkles in my tarp so once I've That'll work. I can then come back up to this tie-off spot, and then I can tighten it up. I'll make it tight so that it's more secure. And folks, this is real time. We're recording in real time here. Um, so you've noticed this has only been a few minutes. This isn't taking me long at all. And if I wasn't explaining to you how to do it, I would be done already. But uh, I take my top. I'll just fold it over my line now that my line's nice and tight. Like this. And then the excess, I'm going to pull it back towards me. So I'll basically be creating a, a cave type crawl space in here in which I'm going to sit and stay dry when the rain comes. So. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it serves its purpose. And it's not about looking pretty, it's about knowing a storm's on its way. You've got a limited amount of time to protect yourself from the storm, and that's what this does. So I'll straighten it out a bit. Go in here, create my cave type space. And yeah, hunker down there, honey, get down. And you can see that I'm in here in my cave and I brought my backpack and my jacket over. I'm gonna use these for a pillow. Now, when it rains, because I've got this hanging over instead of going at the tip of the tarp, the rain will run off. It's gonna run down onto the tarp here. And now you want to make sure to spread it out. And uh, since we're on that downward slope, I'm sitting on my knife. But since we're on the downward slope, the rain will just run off the tarp. Protect me from the wetness. I'll be dry. And I can stay under here as long as I want. And while it's raining, I'm probably going to take a nap. <laughs>